gaming leaks have always been around, and maybe it's just because I'm now focusing a lot more attention on gaming news, you know, gaming current events, what is happening right now in the world of gaming. But I don't know, I feel like that gaming leaks just happen uh, at a higher frequency nowadays. That's just in my opinion, I don't know. I mean, it would seem that anytime I come online and I look up anything gaming related, there are people that know exactly what's going on, they are leaking it, they are reporting it, and it would seem that no gaming company, gaming studio, is safe from these leaks. Even a company as rock solid in their security as Nintendo, you know, as protective as they are of their IP and their information, they too get their upcoming game information leaked. Now, of course, sometimes with leaks, you have to obviously differentiate between the fake leaks and the real leaks. Hey everyone, uh, my cousin actually works at Nintendo, and please don't tell anybody I told you this, but he has told me that the next Grand Theft Auto 6 is actually going to take place in the Mushroom Kingdom. It is going to star Luigi and Mario and the whole plot. No, see, I'm kidding. Obviously, that is a fake leak. Yes, some are very obvious, but some leaks are very rock solid, and it's crazy because some people, some sources, some leakers, they actually have a reputation of always getting it right to the point where you know that their information is coming from somewhere. Somewhere rock solid, but the question is where? And I've always just kind of brushed that off, right? Like, we'll never really know where this information comes from. I always assume it's just, you know, a person that works at a gaming studio that leaks the information, maybe for money, maybe for clout, who knows, and they leak it to another person who then is the leaker. But that's really all the thought I have ever given it. I have just respected the fact that, hey, it's just one of those things that we'll never really know exactly how it works. Well, it turns out that some information has just came to light that actually shows that a Google employee was actually the reason for a number of leakers recently. And a lot of these leaks were specifically Nintendo leaks, and it's actually all thanks to YouTube. Not YouTube in general, but specifically how you upload videos on YouTube. So I'm sure most of you probably have some sort of an idea of this, but basically when you have a YouTube channel and you're wanting to upload a video, you can either upload it now or you can upload it at a scheduled date and time. You can actually schedule out your uploads. Now obviously me being a small channel, I don't do that, but say if I was a Nintendo YouTube channel, hey, maybe I've got a ton of videos that come out, you know, maybe I've got like a bunch of videos every day that come out. So maybe I've got like 60 or 70 videos that I've already uploaded to my YouTube channel, but they're currently set on private. And I have them all scheduled out, you know, specifically when they're going to upload. So I've got like a video that's going to come out in two months from now. I've got that already on my YouTube channel. Nobody but me can see it until it's out. Nobody that is unless you are a, a, a YouTube employee. I would assume you have to be a certain level of, of security of a YouTube employee. But yeah, obviously, if you've already technically uploaded the video to your channel, well, if you're some sort of big wig at YouTube or Google, or really if you just have any sort of security clearance at YouTube, well, you can view this video. Yeah, the video that is not supposed to be for any eyes other than yours for the next two months. So yeah, it actually came out recently that, yeah, this is exactly how a bunch of gaming information, specifically for Nintendo, has recently been leaked. It was a Google employee. Obviously, YouTube is owned by Google. Now, I am seeing that they actually had gained unauthorized access to these private videos from Nintendo's YouTube channel. So yeah, it is worth mentioning, this isn't somebody who necessarily had security clearance, but rather they maliciously gained access to that authorization. I don't really know the specific details of that. Now, like, over this past week, I've been seeing the story kind of, like, grow and grow, and now, just today, it's, like, really skyrocketed out of control. Now it's really coming out. So I'm seeing a bunch of different information, a bunch of different specific instances of this having happened. So, like, I don't know if this happened over the course of years. It looks like Google has kind of cracked down on this. They've done a whole internal investigation on this whole ordeal. It looks like it did come out. Now, I don't know if this is specifically linked to this one specific Google employee or if this was a separate incident. But regardless, kind of interesting to see how this works. So it says that in 2017, there was a trailer for a uh, an upcoming Yoshi game that was on Nintendo's YouTube channel, ready to be published just at a later date. And a Google contractor basically gained access to this trailer and shared a screenshot of the trailer with a friend who then posted it onto Reddit. Now I'm seeing Google is calling this specific incident non-intentional, but obviously you can kind of see the bigger picture. You can kind of see how this is a problem. Yes, yeah, stuff like this can be abused, unfortunately, and this would make it just extremely easy for information that was intended to be available at a later date or, you know, months down the road to all of a sudden be available to everybody, all because a Google employee got curious. And now I'm also seeing as a result of this, there's a conversation going on how this has also happened to Sony with PlayStation. 
PlayStation. I guess there are reports suggesting that leaks from PlayStation's state of play were sold ahead of time by a YouTube employee for, you know, monetary gain. So yeah, overall, very interesting. I think this is going to lead, unfortunately, in terms of companies, gaming companies, etc., who could be at a disadvantage for fans and gamers to learn about their information early. Unfortunately for YouTube, I think this is going to make them think twice before having 100% trust into YouTube's security and their privacy settings on their channels. Basically, these companies are going to have a lot less faith in YouTube's security. And of course, I'm not saying this is going to make them just completely abandon YouTube, but it's going to change their attitude overall of, you know, their faith in YouTube and the security in it that I think we've all kind of grown accustomed to, to, to trust. And a lot of things will probably change up now. You know, a lot of these companies might not upload these videos ahead of time and run the risk that it could be leaked, especially like big trailer drops. Like I'm thinking, you know, like the GTA 6 trailer or a second GTA 6 trailer when that's on the way. Maybe they think twice before just kind of trusting in YouTube security. They might just have to wait until the day of and upload it. And this all might kind of sound like first world problems, but what I'm getting at is that this is not good for YouTube. It definitely shows a bunch of cracks in the wall, so to speak, of YouTube's security. Hopefully they will beef that up however they can, you know, make it so that a lot of these employees, especially the ones that don't even have access to seeing these private videos in the first place, hopefully they can make it so that it is extremely difficult to gain access to them. Obviously there is not a way to know, you know, how every leak ever has stemmed from its original source, but we do now know that some Nintendo leaks have come from YouTube, some PlayStation leaks have even come from YouTube, and even some other leaks, I'm sure, have came from YouTube, and who knows, maybe some in the future will also come from YouTube.